hello and welcome everyone in today's video we are gonna do another exercise in lab view in which we will just see uh, a random program which is generally pop up when we try to enter a password into new site so in this exercise we will try to simulate that thing in our lab view program so it means that whenever i enter the password then it will tell me how strong your password is like it will tell me either it is a weak password or moderate or strong password so I'll, if i'll just run the program right now here it says that please enter your password since i entered nothing so if i enter a lower character and then it says that your password is weak and then if i entered one more character and it is capital then it says that your password level is normal and then if i enter a digit then it says that password level is good yet it is not excellent level so if i enter now any special characters like a percentage sign then it says that password level is excellent now if i remove any one of the thing then it will go backward like password level is good and now if I just remove a percentage sign it says that password level is normal and now if I just remove a small character then it says that your password level is weak and similarly if I remove everything then it says that please enter your password so now we will see how to make this program in live view so for that purpose let's just open a new VI now i will start from designing the front panel basically so i'll just place a string control and a string indicator in here let's just increase its size so that it will be more visible and we can make both of these sides equal and aligned as left edges so here i can write is enter your password and then here I can write is how strong your password is so if I wanted to increase its size then I can go in here and increase its size as 24 and then again I'll just press them centered and like in the similar way I can increase its size as well and then if I write anything in here I can also increase its size like its size will be 24 here and its style is bold and now I can just decrease its width and like in the similar way I can say that minimum width and height now it is properly set also if I entered anything I can just increase its size like 24 and make the style bold we will change its color by using programmatically property nodes afterwards like in the similar way i can write instructions in here please enter at least one lower and capital alphabet along with one numeric digit and a special corrector so as you can see this has gone a little bit uh, bigger in length so we can just increase its height instead of writing that all in one length so now i can again is increase its size let's say just 24 
as for the part instructions i can make it bold as well as make it underlined so that's how our uh, front panel is designed now we can go on to our block diagram and start doing programming so here we need to do some comparisons basically so i'll use match pattern function i'll enter the string and here i will give the regular expression for our lower alphabets or small alphabets i can say a to z and the bracket close and if i choose if the offset past match is greater than zero then let's just check that if it is uh, catching the lower alphabets or not so i'll create an indicator in here and if i increase its size then if i run my program it says that the led is on so it means that it is catching and if i remove all the alphabet and run my program again now the led is off so it means that it is catching only the lower alphabets so i'll delete this led and similarly make a copy of it by pressing ctrl and just drag it so and then again i will give it a regular expression of a to z and like in the similar way i can make a copy of it as well and as for the third time now we want to give it the digits basically so i will give 0 to 9 digits and again make a copy of it and connect it with the greater than zero sign function and in the end we have one last thing in which we want to uh, basically match with the uh, special characters here we cannot just give any special characters like haphazardly like this way because it will gonna scan all the things in it which will not be found it anywhere so this will not give any proper results so for that purpose uh, there is another solution for that so i will make a for loop around it like this way and attach the input in here as for the match regular expression i will use an array string array so i'll place an empty array in here and place a string constant within it so i'll increase its size and now i will one by one enter the special characters within it so which means that at the rate hashtag and all the characters i can increase its size so i will just enter all the special characters one by one in it So that's how we can enter all the special characters in it one by one. So these are the many special characters that can be used within password. So I have just entered all these but you can increase its size and enter all the special characters. Now I will give the regular expression in it. So it means that it will check one by one all the elements within this array so each element is one special character so it will just check out uh, each element so if i just increase its size by one i can just also enter space in it so it means that it will also check the space now so now in the end again i will make a copy of greater than zero function so that it will check that offset patch uh, offset past match is passed or not so I will give the output to the for loop which will be automatically indexed and now in the end I have to build an array. So I will just build an array of all these elements. So one element, two element, three elements and the last one is our fourth element. 
oops uh, here it is giving me an array basically but i didn't want to get an array what i want is i want to use or array elements so it means that if any one of the special characters is matched by using this match pattern string function then it will give me only one um, indication in here like this one so i will just attach this one so now i have only only elemental form in the array so in the end i will just convert that into boolean 201 function and then at last i have add array elements so this is basically that was the array and now it is in the form of 01 and in here is the 01 is now converted into numerical sum form and now i can just attach that with my case structure so it means that now if the sum of these elemental form the 01 function is zero then it means that nothing has entered one means any one of the character like uh, uh, either it will be a small character or an upper character or a digit or a special character is entered and similarly if i add a case after so it means that two things are entered now add a case after three things are entered uh, and the final stage is add case after the fourth one which means that the sum is for that all the things are entered so here i will create a constant and enter in here here i can write now enter as uh, please enter your password and in the next step i have create a constant and here i can say that your password is weak and in the in the second case structure or actually the third case structure i can enter that password is good or what i can add Here I can say your password is better and in here I can add password security level is good and in the final stage I have password security level is excellent so now i will run my program and check but before that let's just enclose that within the while loop create a control and also give it some delay function let's just create a constant of 1000 which means that it will take one second to iterate the loop either we can also use um, some event structure which will be dependent on this enter your password which will only depend on this um, uh, string function like it means that even when we uh, whenever we add something then only the event structure will work but right now we can just go with while loop so here it says that please enter your password now if i add any of the small characters in it then it says that your password is weak enter your uh, alphabet and now it says that password security level is good and the final stage we have if i add any special character then it should indicate me that it is not yes password security level is excellent so that's how our program right now works 
as for its changing the color of the string we can now go to uh, property nodes and go to text and then change the text color change to right and here we can create sorry it is not the text color it is just a text so we will go again and go to property node and then go to instead of size we will go to text and then the text colors and then here we have the text color so change to write and create a constant and enter in here so as for the first one we will select it the black ones and as for the second I will choose here the red one and if I move further I can create a third one as the blue one and as for the good it says I will choose a yellow one and in the final stage we have a green color let's just say this one so now if again if I run my program it says that the password security level is excellent if I remove just a small characters from it uh, like this way then it says that password security level is good and now if I remove uh, upper character then it says that password is better and now if I remove any special character from it it says that your password is weak and now if I remove everything from it it says that please enter your password so that's how we can make a password security check program in LabVIEW. Hope so you will like my work. So please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much.